All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our call with KJ Winston. As always, please raise your hand, and I will call, and we'll start with Tyler Donahue. Good morning, KJ. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm curious, when you guys got back in uh, Sunday and got a chance to really dive into what you accomplished Saturday night, what were you most proud of uh, defensively that you got done against Iowa? I mean, I think, you know, just ex executing Coach Manny's game plan, and that's what we we worked hard going through it all week, and we were just glad that we were able to uh, execute it the right way and how he said, and, you know, that's our main thing every week, getting better and better each week, so. We felt like we improved from last week as a defense in uh, every aspect of the game. So that's what I'm, I, that was our main thing. That's what I was mainly proud of. I felt like a lot of uh, our defensive players and uh, a lot of guys on the team and coaches were proud of that as well. Rich Garcello. Good morning, KJ. Thanks for doing this. Of course. Um, what, you're, you're a third of the way through the season. What do you think you guys on defense are doing particularly well? Uh, honestly, like I said, you know, Coach Manny gives us a great game plan each week. I feel like our main thing is just studying it so well during the week and go, repetitive going through the plays uh, all through the week and then just allowing us to go go out in the game and just play freely and have fun. And the game plan he gives us allows us to go out there. And if we do our job, everybody's going to uh, be successful and make plays. So I think it's just us, us following the game plan and playing fast with it. And that's just, you know, that's allowing us to be successful as, as a group. Tony Collins. Hey, KJ. Um, when you have a, a guy like Manny who's super creative, coming up with with different ways to, you know, to defend offenses, how much of a challenge is that for 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 you as 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 a as a guy who's just kind of getting his feet wet as a starter? And also, how fun is that as as a guy who plays defense to be able to uh to be able to learn those different uh methods that he uses? Uh, that's, that's the first question. Um. It is a challenge, but um, I think uh, it's less of a challenge because last year as a freshman, being under him, I was kind of like preparing like a starter and doing certain things. And like during the week, even though I wasn't going in expecting to play much, I was ex uh, studying the plays like I was, like putting myself in, in the position to where if I was the starter, I'll be prepared. So I feel like I set my put myself in a good position coming into this year to allow myself to be able to do those certain things and allow, allow myself to be able to go out and execute those things. And, uh, yeah, Coach Manny is very fun. You know, each week you don't know what what uh, what plays he's going to have us come out with and you don't know how we're going to set it up and things like that. So it's exciting once we get to see what we're going to do and then be able to go out against an opponent and kind of trying to trick them or make plays against them with the, uh, the plays we have coming into the game. Bill Smeltzer. Hi, KJ. Thanks for the time. Of course. So, with the season uh, being a third of the way through and with your role being different than it was, obviously, as a true freshman, how would you say um you've grown over the past year? And what do you think is the biggest difference you've seen in your game uh, from now through uh, late September of your true freshman year? Honestly, I think i just grown in my confidence. Last year as a freshman, uh, I was kind of getting getting used to things, used to the, how the things go, and not really understanding the, the speed of the game was much different. You went from being the fastest and strongest guy on the field to, you know, some linebackers are the same speed as you. Some linebackers can, like, say, the safety's corners are stronger. So, getting, and then getting uh, used to the college level and getting stronger and faster and things like that. And I feel like the main, main place I improved was, like, understanding the plays. Like last year, I was just trying to learn the plays and, you know, just just know what I was doing out there. Now I'm understanding why we're doing this play and what what the goal of this play is and just understanding why we're doing certain things, and, and not, like not alone with just what we're doing, understanding why we're doing it. I think that's what the main step that allowed me to play a lot more comfortable. Eric Pass. Hi, KJ. Thank you again. Um <laughs> You have a quarterback like Drew who is so great at protecting the ball and currently you guys lead in turnover margin and you're second in turnovers forced. How are you guys able to do that in games because of Drew and his practicing and protecting the ball? You know, I really think it's because of in practice and all through camp and practice, you know, going against Drew and kind of giving our best shot at him and him giving his best shot at us. I think just 
you know, in practice going back and forth, it allows him to be, it allowed him to come in the game feeling comfortable playing after playing against a team. Like we were we were playing against Drew like it was a, a championship game every day, trying to get the best out of him and things like that. So I think it's just really a lot like playing against practice, we're getting the best shot every day. So I just feel like we 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 feel a lot comfortable coming into the game because it's, it's something we see every day. So yeah. Tyler Donahue. I could ask about a uh, linebacker Curtis Jacobs and and what he's meant to this defense in in year four, not just on the field this fall, but maybe while you guys were preparing for the season. How, how valuable is he for this defense, and uh, especially because he can play multiple positions in games? Yeah, Curtis, great having him around is great. You know, very experienced guy, so he's he knows how to explain everything. He's been in many games, so every game we come in, he's explaining how to go about this situation. In different situations and like like you said he's very versatile so a lot of he could play all over the field he honestly he has a skill to play safety if he wanted to or get down like he could play from he could play every level of the game so when you have a guy like that with the experience that he has and the confidence he has it's just going out there you feel he, he allows you to feel confidence confident as well having him up by your side going out there on the field Rich Carcello. KJ getting back to um you said the competition with the offense and Drew. How about the competition within your room, within the defense? Um, what has the competition and the depth on defense done for you and for your group? I think, you know, like you said about the competition, in every, in every room on defense, there's competition. You know, the defensive, defensive line, cornerback room, safety room, linebacker room, everywhere there's competition. So I feel like it's – it's allowing us to come in every day and never get lax, like get lax with, with, the, with the position you're in, allow you to feel comfortable. So nobody's feeling comfortable every day. You know, you have to come in and work. And I say for me personally, with the safety room, you know, I'm in I'm in a room with great safety, just like just like like we're all we're all good safeties. We can all go out there and make plays. And, you know, we do that every week. So I feel like you can't you can't just come out one week and think you're just going to be able to chill and practice. Or this is a chill week. Like every week, you know, you got to prepare like prepare, you know, prepared to be that guy so you just it allows you to bring the best out of yourself and bring like the greatness out of yourself because you have to prepare like that every week Bonnie Collins AJ what are some of the ways that the receivers challenge you guys as a secondary is that a is that a group that we haven't seen what they're what they're really capable of uh, in games and you know what kind of unique ways do they they kind of go about practice to challenge you guys. Oh yeah, I say this year this, this has been crazy. It's probably one of the best years we've had, like competitive wise and in, in, in camp. From my experience, you know, deep, it's these guys from every like every depth. Like the depth is crazy in that room. Like we have a lot of guys that can go out there and make a big play or turn a short route, a short screen into a ADR return. So you know, we see Keandre Lambert. You know, you see all the guys that uh. uh our starting guys doing things, but I feel like we we have a lot a lot of depth. And there's more guys that like people haven't even seen yet. But that that room is crazy to me. I feel like they're very talented, and just like them, along with Drew Alar, I feel very comfortable when I see our wide receivers run out there on the field with him. Go Smeltzer. Yeah, KJ. Uh, how would you describe uh, Coach Dex as a person? How would you describe your relationship with him, and what do you think? Is the biggest way that he has made you a better safety? Uh, Coach Dex is a great guy, hilarious. That's my that's my guy. Love having him as a coach. Was blessed that I chose to play under him. And you know, um, he the the main the main way he's brought the best out of me is the first time I I like got here. He told me he 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 he's not going to ask me to be anybody else. He's never going to ask me to be these safeties he's had before. Or be this person he has in the room. He said, "Be the best you, and I'll be happy." He said, "You you play your best football, and that's what that's what I want out of you. And I don't want I don't want you to be this person or that person." And I feel like that was the best thing, you know. You're hearing that as a young freshman, it allows you to just feel like just allow you to be comfortable and be yourself, and go out there and just play football like you always have since you were a little kid. So when you get that kind of comfortable, when you get that coming in, it allows you to, you know early you're feeling comfortable. So it's just it puts you in the best position to feel ready to play. Hello, Donahue. 
KJ, I know everybody wants to play a lot of football, but because of how these games have gone, Penn State coaches have been able to to get a lot of the starters and main defenders to the sidelines pretty early. How do you think that's going to pay off the, the relatively fresh legs come midseason where a lot of teams have, have played a ton of football and maybe you guys just haven't had to do that? Yeah, no, I know. That, that's that's a, a big thing for us. You know, our coaches, they, they emphasize that, that look like we're not having to play many downs and, you know, we're like, we're not playing, we're playing like one, I think we play like one less game according to reps because we're allowed to, we're, we're comfortable doing that. And I also credit that to the guys that, and that shows the depth, the guys that are behind, uh, the guys, the guys that are in the second, the second uh group, second, second defense, and things like that, because our coaches are comfortable putting them out there in the field because they're, those guys are just as good as us and they'll go out there and do the same thing and get the job done. So we feel comfortable, even when we come to Salon, we feel comfortable seeing those guys go in and we're happy to allow them to go in and make plays. So I feel like that that's a big thing. It allows us to feel comfortable and also gets the guys experience that are, are the ones that are going out there when they when we come out. Rich Garcia. KJ, what's your take on the Northwestern quarterback and their passing game? They had a big night, big comeback against Minnesota Saturday night. What have you yeah. what are you seeing from them? Uh, I think they have a great quarterback, great offense, uh, great scheme. So I feel like, you know, any any team that can go out there against a good team like Minnesota and come down from a you know, they had they were they were in a um they were down by a lot and they ended up coming back in a short period of time in that fourth quarter. Any team that can do that, you know, that's 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 impressive. So I feel like we have to come out and give our come with our best plan and come out and execute the same thing, get better each week. So great I feel like Northwestern is also a great team that we have to come out and be prepared for. Brian Collins. Hey, Jay, something you said earlier I wanted to follow up on with uh, when Coach, Coach Dex told you to uh, just be yourself and he, that you would that would be good enough. Um, yeah. I, I imagine that's difficult sometimes when you have some great safeties playing. Yeah. Uh, it, it, how, are, how are, do you feel you're different than some of those guys? And, and could you talk a little bit about the pressure that kind of relieves to not have to be TIG, I guess? Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, different – I mean, it's just uh... – I just feel like I just play. I just like, like it's hard to say different because a lot of the guys have similarities to how I play, like their relentless uh, game and flying around and things like that and making play. So I mean, it's it's hard to really for myself, from my point of view, to say say it. But um, what was the second question? You said how how is it a uh, relief? Yeah, how, how the the pressure of the, the how how does it change things? Oh, when the off in that way. Oh yeah, it definitely changed things a lot. You know. You need, like if a coach came, like if he, if he was to come to me and say we need you to be like Tig, like that would take that would put pressure on me, take away from what I I'm, I'm like my abilities and what I'm good at doing because I'm trying to be like somebody else. And you know when he tells you to just do what you do and be yourself, like you're you're playing like you were in in little league when you're a young guy and you're playing like you were in high school and we're like do you're doing the things that got you to this point. So I feel like his his main thing is that don't change up what you've been doing to get to this point. Keep doing what you're doing, and you know, adding bits and bits of better, better things like that. So, this allow, it allows you to be yourself, and and I feel like anybody that just be themselves and, and and improves their game, that that's how they bring the best out of themselves because everybody's different. Time for two more, Tyler Donahue. KJ, I'm pretty sure that last year, uh, when you're waiting for more defensive opportunities, you use special teams as a pathway to the field. I'm curious what you gain from that, how that kind of set you up for some defensive success, and and how you're seeing guys like King and Elliott and Zion, you know, kind of take that part of the freshman year on right now. Yeah, you know, for a lot of young guys, it's it's, it's hard to do because you're going from being a top guy on your team and. You know, and you come in the, in the, into college and you're a front line on 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 kick return and things like that. But you know, it it, it makes you understand how important these how spe important special teams is because as a young guy, you think special team just like it's whatever, it's it's a free play, but it's not like special team just as important de as defense and offense. I feel like it's I'm glad that Penn State makes us understand that early in the program and understanding that also like even at the next level in the NFL, you're gonna have to play those special teams to stay, like, play, play. Like, if you want to play for a long time, you're going to have to play special teams. And Coach Franklin has a very big emphasis on how important special teams is. So he, he instills that into us at a young age. So I feel like that experience on the special teams allowed me to feel comfortable on the field because you go out there on special teams, it's just like a, it's just like a defensive play when you run down on kick kickoff. It's an offensive play, you run down on kick return. Like, any like you can make a big play on those special teams. So it allows you to feel comfortable going out there in the heat of the moment when it's defense because it's, it's pretty, pretty much the same thing. 
Go on, Collins. JJ, what does what does Keaton Ellis mean to you guys in the safety room? Oh man, Keaton Ellis, he's a he's a great, you know, great guy to have in the safety room. You know, older guy. He's been through so much, been been through so many games, big games, and just having him around and like, like whenever you feel like a situation, like you're not really understanding, or you feel like it's you need help understanding, like he know he he has the answer for everything. So having him in the room, he's he's just the guy with all the answers and experience, and then he's a great player as well. So having him in there just he has that le level, that le layer of com comfortability. So he just allows you to feel comfortable all the time. And just having a guy like that is another reason why it makes it easier to go out there and play, play fast.